Hello everyone. Today we will take a look at the new pocket digital multimeter, the Uni TUT. 136B, one of the few instruments of this class which has an automatic range selection function. In the box you'll find the test leads, the multimeter itself, and a user manual which is in both Russian and English. The multimeter is very compact and it is made of high quality materials which feel nice to the touch. The sides of the housing are made of rubber. On the front of the instrument, you can see the display, controls, and measurement terminals for the test leads. The battery compartment is located on the back of the multimeter, and it uses one 9-volt battery. There you can also find a handy little stand. The test leads are made of quality, flexible material. They are about one meter long and equipped with removable protective caps. Let's have a closer look at the multimeter itself. To switch the instrument on, you need to turn the rotary switch into its first position, which is a direct voltage measurement. The auto measurement range selection is activated by default. Using the select button, you can switch between modes. Also, there is a hold button to activate the data hold function. The next position of the rotary switch is an AC voltage measurement. You can also use the select button to change the measurement range. The next one is a resistance measurement. The next position is multifunctional. Using the select button, you can switch between diode testing and checking continuity. The next is a capacitance measurement. Using the select button, you can switch to the relative measurement mode which you could use, for example, to test leads capacitance compensation. The next one is frequency measurement. Using the select button, you can switch to duty cycle measurement. The next three ranges are for current measurements, microamps, milliamps, and amps. In these modes, you can use the select button to switch between alternating current and direct current measurements. The last position of the rotary switch turns off the multimeter. Let's move on to some actual measurements. First, we will measure the mains voltage. To do this, I will switch our multimeter to AC voltage measurement and connect the black test lead to the common terminal and red test lead in the voltage measurement terminal. As you can see, the main voltage is 234.5 volts. Right away, I want to show you how the continuity check works. On this multimeter, it is quite loud and works almost instantly. Now I will demonstrate the resistance and capacitive measurement. For this purpose, I will use the test leads from Axiomet because they have crocodile clips, which are extremely convenient for these measurements. Switch to resistance measurement mode and connect the test leads. Now we will connect a 24 ohm resistor. The multimeter shows 24.15 kilo ohms. Not a bad result. Next we have a 6.8 ohm resistor. It will be a good idea to make a test lead resistance compensation. Switch to the relative measurement mode and connect a resistor. And again, the multimeter handled this measurement perfectly. Next up is a capacitive measurement, so I will switch to the appropriate measurement mode. We should keep in mind that the recommended capacitance measurement range by the manufacturer is 100 microfarad. Let's try to measure a capacitor. Capacitance between the test leads is minimal, so compensation is not required. Since capacity is actually equal to the measuring range, 
it will take 10 or 20 seconds for the multimeter to display the measured result. It took about 15 seconds for the meter to show the capacity, 100 microfarad. Let's try to add a little bit more capacitance to this measurement. For example, 47 microfarad, and see how the multimeter will deal with it. This time, we'll have to wait 20 seconds. It actually took about 20 seconds, and the meter displayed 146 microfarad. This is beyond the recommended maximum measurement range. That's really surprising. Let's add a little bit more. I will connect another 47 microfarad capacitor. The total capacity should be around 194 to 195 microfarad. Just over 30 seconds and the multimeter measured this value and it is almost twice as much as the maximum capacitance measurement recommended by the manufacturer. Let's try to add another 22 microfarad capacitor and see what will happen next. With more than double the maximum range, the multimeter finally showed overload. I am very pleasantly surprised with the capacitance measurement capabilities of this multimeter. Now I will demonstrate the frequency measurement. The maximum measuring range declared by the manufacturer is 10 MHz. Let's see how the multimeter handles it. At the input, we have a sine wave with a 1 volt excursion, a half volt amplitude, and a 1 kHz frequency. The multimeter displays this value, but there is a little inaccuracy in the last digit. Let's crank the frequency to 1 MHz. The multimeter is displaying it without any problems, but that same inaccuracy in the last digit is preserved. Let's go even higher. 3 MHz. And immediately to 10 MHz. As you can see, the declared measuring range is working without any problems. Let's go even higher though. 20 megahertz and the multimeter still displays it without any problems. That's awesome. It even displays 23 megahertz, but anything higher than that begins to cause some problems. Let's increase the amplitude values, for example, to a maximum of 5 volt peak to peak, and see what will happen next. The multimeter displays 23 megahertz just fine. 33 megahertz. And 34 megahertz even 36 megahertz, but with that same inaccuracy in the last digit. 37 megahertz, 38 megahertz, and after that the result is distorted. Since the measurement has exceeded the stated parameters almost by four times, it is interesting to see what the frequency range will be when measuring alternating current voltage. The user manual claims that the measuring range is from 40 hertz to 400 hertz. I will apply a sinusoidal signal with a frequency of 100 Hz and a voltage of 5 volt RMS. RMS values match with effective values since this is a sinusoidal signal and the multimeter can measure only the effective values. Now we connect the test leads and switch the multimeter to alternating current voltage measurement mode. And clear 5 volts with 100 Hz frequency. I'm increasing the frequency to 400 Hz right away. Also, I want to remind you that this is the limit value of the measuring range. Still 5 volts. Let's increase the frequency twice. The multimeter easily handles 800 Hz. One kilohertz, no problem. Practically the same 5 volts. 1.5 kilohertz, the same. 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 7.5, 8.5, 9.5, 10.5, 11.5, 12.5, 13.5, 14.5, 15.5, 16.5, 17.5, 18.5, 19.5, 20.5, 21.5, 
three and a half, four and a half, five kilohertz. The multimeter handles it without any problems. The range has actually exceeded more than 10 times the recommended from the manufacturer, but the device is still clearly displaying the voltage. At the same time, it's only off by 20 millivolts. Let's increase it even more, six kilohertz. Now the inaccuracy begins to increase. Eight kilohertz. We have exceeded the frequency range for voltage measurements by 20 times, but the inaccuracy of the measurement of five volts is only 100 millivolts. This is a great result. 10 kilohertz. Inaccuracy is at 200 millivolts. Seventeen kilohertz. Measurement inaccuracy is right about 500 millivolts. This multimeter really surprises me with its measuring capabilities. Capacitance, frequency, and frequency range when measuring alternating current voltage, it doesn't matter. It's amazing. This was a demonstration of the main features of a UNI-T UT-136B multimeter. This instrument has surpassed all our expectations and clearly has no competitors in its class. The main advantages of this multimeter are automatic measuring range selection with manual switching, AC current measurement, other instruments in its class can only measure the DC current, wide capacitive measurement range with a claimed range of 100 microfarad, but in fact the meter can measure capacitance up to 200 microfarad, wide frequency measurement range with claimed 10 megahertz, but we were able to easily measure the frequency up to 38 megahertz which is four times greater than the manufacturer's claimed range. And also I would like to mention a wide frequency range when measuring AC voltage. Recommended values are from 40 Hz to 400 Hz, but we measured the voltage with a four kilohertz frequency, while the measurement variance did not exceed the one stated in the manual. UNI-T managed to create an amazing multimeter that has no competitors in its class. Needless to say, the UT-136B is a great value for your money. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos. Goodbye.